Hi, you're yeah, welcome to my channel. My name is Hannah, and this week I have been so intrigued about one topic that I found on LinkedIn, and I thought immediately it would be such a good conversation to share with you guys here on YouTube. So this week I chanced on a video on LinkedIn, and if you know me, you know I spend a lot of time on LinkedIn, even compared to other social media platforms. On LinkedIn, I chanced on this video by Matt Pocock. This person works as a full-time typescript educator and going to his profile is actually very good i'm intrigued by what he does and what he really talks about now to the main point of this video he made a post that when you are writing javascript and you add comments js dot comments using their specific syntaxes intrinsically it's like you writing in typescript there are so many developers out there who are using typescript and don't even realize they're doing it there's an alternative way of using typescript which is just by adding these things called js doc comments into javascript what that means is you just have some code and then you just write a comment above that code and you use a special syntax and that special syntax basically gives you types on that function or that thing. Now, just so we have like a good context to talk about, TypeScript mainly deals with using of types to name your variables. So like if you are naming any variable, you have to add a type to it. This is why it's always advised to not use the any keyword when you are using TypeScript because any is just like too broad to define a specific type to anything so if you are naming a variable you just add like a type to it and then you just initialize it and that gives like a good description for what typescript really is now for javascript you could actually just name it and you are not required to add any type to it because that's how it is what JS doc does is that it's actually a documentation api that you can use to be able to document your code so it's not exactly something to check types but it's just to help people who are working on those codes to know what type to use it's actually very tricky but this is what i got to know today so let me read this out to you i saw this site about jsdoc and what it really does and it says that jsdoc is an api documentation javascript similar to php documentation our documentation comments directly to your source code so intrinsically these are just comments like just comments to your code and for the longest time using typescript i don't recall writing any comments in my code because for whatever variable that i'm using it's already declarative like i we already know what type I'm using. And I think that is what is really good about using TypeScript compared to JavaScript. Now here, this person makes us understand that when you are using the JS doc comment, which is essentially just like any comment, but in this case, it's a slash with two stars in the beginning and at the end it's a star with one slash this is where i come in here my confusion here or let's say my question here is if we are to choose just a documentation kind of coding that js doc and javascript presents to us and we can get that and much more in just one language which is typescript why wouldn't this person focus his attention on getting more people on board on using of TypeScript rather than giving them an additional tool which is JS doc where they can still stay on working with JavaScript. Okay, so before you get me wrong here, I'm not trying to say everybody should leave JavaScript and come to TypeScript, but I'm saying that if we have a good opportunity to present TypeScript to people who are working on JavaScript, why wouldn't we take that opportunity and to say that we should allow like whoever is using JavaScript to keep using JavaScript and then you want to present an additional documentation or something that looks like TypeScript to them to use. So ideally it's like you still want them to use TypeScript, but then you still want them to stay on using of JavaScript. I think both both works, just that I don't really buy into the idea of using JS docs other than using TypeScript right away. Because if you are looking for something that can help you to like catch code before runtime, I think I would always go with TypeScript. But still using JS docs with JavaScript, you still catch your bugs at runtime, meaning when it's compiling, you still don't know if there's an error with what you've written. So, I mean, this is just a dicey comment I, I wanted to pass. But if you have a second opinion on it, I want to hear it in the comment section. And, and I would love to hear more people coming on board to like really share their, op their opinion on how they've used this doc and how they see it to be like a good tool for defining, like classifying a type. 
so that's my take on it and if you're interested in more stories about like tech and like languages like this please do a subscribe to the channel and we will talk about it in the next video so see you bye